In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add a second level to the simple ball game we've been developing. Open the file from the previous tutorial in which I showed how to add dynamic text. You can make the file yourself or download it from my website. File, save as, level 1. With a bit of tweaking, this will become the first level of the game. File, save as, level 2. With a bit more work, this file will become the second level. In the level 2 file, I'm going to replace the game board with a new, more difficult board. I've already made the new board in a separate file. Now I need to append it into the level 2 file. File, append, go to the folder where you have your new board, select the file, go into the object folder, select the board, link append. We now have both boards in the scene. Before I delete the old board, I want to copy the logic bricks from it to the new board. In the outliner window, select the new board and the order is important. Hold down shift and select the old board. In the object menu, gain, copy logic bricks and the logic bricks are copied. Select the old board alone and delete it. Now all we have to do is sort out the cylinders and this text which was parented to the old board, we have to parent it to the new board. Click the object properties, scroll down, click parent and select the new board. To sort out the cylinders I'm going to change the layout back to default. Select one of the score 10 cylinders and adjust its X and its Y location. Select the other score 10 cylinder and again adjust the locations 6.5 change to 6. Set the parent of the cylinder to be the board. I forgot to do that for the other cylinder. In the front view select the score 5 cylinder and set its Y location to be 5, its X location to be 3 and set its parent to be the board. Hold down shift, press D and enter to duplicate and set the X location of the duplicate to minus three. Change the layout to game logic. Now the only thing left to do is to adjust the target score and the time allowed. Select the empty. I'm going to increase the time allowed to 50 and we need to do that in the script as well. The target score is 15, I'm going to leave that the same. Save the changes and load level 1. Change the scene to the win scene. Add a delay sensor, an AND controller and a gain actuator. Set the delay to 120 with 60 ticks per second, that will be 2 seconds. Click the File Browse button and select Level 2. Connect that up. And if we test that by starting the game engine after 2 seconds, it should load Level 2, which it does. There is a problem, the score is carried through to the new level. I need a Python script to reset it. First, I'm going to copy the add5 script. Right click, copy. Then click the add new text block. Call the new text block reset.py and enter. Right click and paste. Change the end to set equal to zero and we need to copy that line 
and paste it and do the same for the timer. Add a Python controller and connect that to the new script, reset.py. Close both controllers up and use the up arrow to move the Python controller to the top so that the script is run first. Change the scene back to the game scene and save the changes. I'm going to end the tutorial there. There's lots of ways in which the game could be improved. For instance, at the moment, when the time runs out, the game simply quits. But you should have enough information to make a simple multi-level game. I'll put all the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.